So, welcome back to another video here on the channel. I'm loving Need Rock, and uh, like a month ago, I ordered two uh, constant lights. One I'm using right now, that one is standing right behind the camera. I always, li I always liked shooting portraits, and with these lights, uh, it was a game changer, of course. Because uh, I feel like the, the pictures got more, more life in them when it comes to the light, backlight. I don't know if I'm using them right, but in my eyes, it looks better than it did before. Besides shooting portraits, I also like shooting uh, product photography, like photographing stuff pretty much. So I think that's what I'm gonna try to do with these lights today. I'm gonna, I've done it before, but with less equipment. But today I'm gonna use these two lights, maybe in my Loom Cube, just to see how good I can get it. To start off, I need to get something that I can photograph, a product, something. So that's what I'm gonna figure, go figure out right now. Let's go. Got this uh, hike bottle of whiskey, high coast. I think I'll do them a favor and snap some pictures of it. I'm just gonna dust it off. I'm gonna use this table to make a scene. I'm gonna clean it off, it's a little dirty. Clean this off. I haven't decided if I'm gonna use the, I don't know if I'm gonna use the 56 millimeter lens, Sigma, or the shitty Canon 24 to 70 macro lens. Uh, this is my first lens I ever got. It's not uh, ideal, it's not working. Some pictures get really, really good sharp but some pictures get really really shitty doesn't matter shutter speed or anything yes, some pictures they're not that good with this but as a macro lens it's it works fine so i'll see uh, i'll probably try out the 56 first uh, it's like a portrait lens i think it could work just fine for what i'm trying to do i'm gonna use this glass to fill up, but not gonna. Cool thing, I'm not gonna open this one. Of course not. It's it's not ready to be opened yet. I have a plan that I'm gonna show you that I learned from Peter McKinnon. How you how you fake a whiskey, to be exact. So I'm gonna try to match the color with this one. I think I'm gonna start off with that fake the whiskey. Best part. Let's go. It actually turned out way better than I thought it would, but yeah. Now when I have this and the glass, let's uh, let's make the scene. Okay, so you probably heard of using a window as a light source, a key of light. But I want to have as much as I want to have as much control over the scene as possible. So I'm gonna close the blinds on both windows, and I'm gonna use my constant lights is to have as much control over the light as possible. As you can tell, the background of the scene is quite boring, but I got a plan for it. I'm gonna go get it right now in the basement. So let's try it out. Hmm, I don't know how we're gonna do this. 
but I'm gonna try to change the lens and see if I can get just a little bit better. Just a little bit. So the editing editing is done and the result is for me, it's fucking amazing, I will say. I think this just shows that kind of like you don't need some fancy studio to actually to take good pictures. It's just all you need is camera. I'll say a light maybe that that will help. You can get cheap lights, some imagination, uh, creativity, and maybe just maybe you can use a window, but. Some lights will work. I use these. It's a constant light. It's from UPO battery, they called. Great lights. Even got a battery on this one that makes it easy for me to bring it with me if I wanna go outside and shoot. So I really like these lights. A good picture, even better without editing. But yeah, I liked it. like the results of these pictures. Actually, I I'm very happy about it myself. It's I've done this type of shoot before, like with like a product. Uh, I've been photographing watches and other stuff, but this one is by far my favorite ones and the ones that I feel like these are really good ones. Uh, so I just started off with putting up a, a black background because I thought that would, uh, I think it fits the mood of the whiskey, I will say. So yeah, the first picture is just black, flat one with a light coming from the right side of the camera, just to light up the, the bottle a little bit and just so you can see the name. It's just a flat, black surface, black background, really easy, but looks cool and fancy. Uh, the second picture, uh, I so I put an underlay on it. Like I put the bottle on an underlay that kind of looks a little bit weedy. Like it looks like kind of like farmy. Then my girlfriend had a, a pot with, it kind of looks like wheat. So I decided like whiskey's made of wheat. So let's just, Put one over like in front of the bottle so you can see it um, then I took a, like a time glass an hourglass um, because yeah I thought I thought like it fitted the mood like the the scene a little bit and I also took my, my little loom cube and put it like on the opposite side from the light so it was shining up like lighting up the back of the bottle a little bit so you can get like the outline of the bottle which looks really cool and the last picture i actually i switched the lens i took my 24 to 70 canon lens not my favorite lens to use because i can't rely on it often when i take a picture it's uh it gets all blurry which i don't like like even though I have a high shutter speed and whatever, all the settings are done, I have it on a tripod. For some reason, the the picture doesn't get that sharpness all the time. So I don't really rely on it, but this time it worked, it worked out fine. I put it on 24 millimeter. I put it pretty close. So I still had, I had like a close up of the scene. So it's like, the hourglass looks kind of big, the glass looks a little bit bigger, and the bottle is like in the background of the scene with the focus on, like you you follow 
the focus is on the bottle, but you can like follow a path towards the bottle. But yeah, this was a lot of fun doing this. Uh, it just shows that you don't need like fancy stuff. You don't need a studio. You can do pretty much everything at home. If you don't have a light, use a window. Just do it by the window and oh, you will be fine. One thing that would make it a little bit easier is to use a tripod. I didn't use it this time because I had this camera mounted on it and I felt like I could, it was light enough so I can use it handheld, didn't really matter, but if you wanna make it easier, just mount the camera to a tripod, put the camera down. If the camera had that ability to be remoted, control it with your phone, use that, then you can switch out and it's easy to change the scene if you're by yourself. So I think that's that's it for this video. If you like it, leave a thumbs up. Uh, go check out my other videos. I have, my favorite one is with the Camaro car. Go check that out. I can leave, leave it up here somewhere. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace out.